Hello? Yes. Is the wedding tent ready? Can you please make sure that it's ready by the evening as the guests will start arriving in the morning by 8 o'clock? Yes. Yes, I'm going to speak to the chef right now. All right. Okay, bye. Hi. How are the wedding preparations coming along? Good. Can you please make sure that the sweets have a rich flavor? Ritu likes that. No, 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 don't use oil. Please use desi ghee and I'll get some more in the evening. Yes. Yes. Okay. We'll meet in the evening. Nothing. I can't take my eyes off Ritu. She looks so happy. Of course she will be happy. Is there anything you haven't done for her? Hey, why shouldn't I? She's my only daughter. Uh, which reminds me, the florist forgot to bring in the red roses. You know how she loves them. Don't worry. Let me call him. No, no, there's no need. His men are working downstairs. I'll go speak to them. And I'll finish some other work as well and come back. Please make sure that the wedding goes absolutely great. After that, anything can happen to me. I really don't care. Daddy, nothing will happen to you. Just try to relax. Please. Hey, Kamal. What happened to Uncle? Don't know, man. It was fine until the evening. I was out all day for the wedding preparations. But when I got back home, I saw that he was having trouble breathing. I immediately rushed him to the hospital. Since when was he not feeling well? Did anybody tell you? There was no time to talk. Excuse me, Father. Uh, what happened to Dad? It's a heart attack. What? Yes. Will you be all right? It's tough to say. We are trying our best. Doctor, please do your best. And if there's anything we can do, please let us know. Sure. Please be patient. We will keep you updated. Thank you. Hey, don't worry. Uncle is quite strong. I know, man. I'm not getting how his situation worsened so much. Two weeks ago, he was feeling fine when I was leaving for the US tour. His heart treatment was going fine. And he was getting quite better. Oh, yes. Even I noticed that. He had improved quite a bit. He could easily climb two, three floors by stairs. Right? Yes. Siraj, I think he just got exerted by the wedding preparations. We tried to tell him so many times. Daddy, please don't do all this by yourself. Let others help. But he won't listen. Ritu is his only daughter, right? So he wanted to do everything perfectly. And that to himself. I know. I told him a couple of times. But he would not listen. I even suggested postponing a wedding by a month. So that you get a chance to come back from your US tour and help him out. But he would not agree to that either. How is he? What did the doctor say? Mama, they're saying it's a heart attack. What? Yes. <laughs> Auntie, please don't worry. Doctors are trying their best. Mama, did Daddy complain of any chest pain or discomfort today? No, but 
He did look a bit tired when he came upstairs after talking to the florist. What happened? Are you all right? Yeah, yes, darling. I'm okay. Just a little bit tired, that's all. Why do you have to do everything? Hey, it's my only daughter's wedding. If I don't do it, who else will do it? As if she's not my daughter? Okay, now if you've stopped scolding, may I just go and rest? Did Uncle eat before sleeping? A little bit. He also took a tablet before sleeping. This tablet, Mama? Sor... Sorbitrate, I think. You mean about three hours back? Yeah. Kamal, did Uncle ever take this tablet before? I don't think so. I've been to all the doctor appointments with him, and none of them prescribed it. Siraj, you have a good knowledge about medicines. What is this tablet used for? Well, this medicine is used for the treatment of chest pain and heart failure. Oh, I see. So daddy knew that he was having problems. He didn't want to tell anyone. So that the wedding preparations don't get spoiled. Yeah, I think so too. Mama, did you feel like Daddy was having any difficulty today? He did look a bit tired. I told him to consult the doctor. So? He said, two days, the wedding is in two days. Now should I consult the doctor and enjoy the ceremonies? He only had one thing on his mind, this wedding. Mate, what about his blood pressure heart medicine? Was he taking those on time? Normally, yes, he was. But in the last few weeks, it's been so hectic. So he might have missed it, and I think we also forgot about it. Doctor, how is Dad now? Sorry, we tried our best but could not save him. If he came a couple of hours earlier, we could have saved him. What do you mean you couldn't save him? Did you try the CPR? Did you try the defibrillator? Please do something. <laughs> Please do something. I know how you all feel. Trust me. We tried everything. His heart is not responding. Once again, I'm sorry for your loss. Daddy. <laughs> how did this happen, son? I have no idea. <laughs> he was fine two weeks ago when I was leaving for the U.S. He was so happy. He was so happy. <laughs> he was taking that pill, but he didn't tell anyone. He was just... He was just thinking it's a matter of a couple of days. You know? And for that, he took the biggest risk of his life. <laughs> then he... I told him so many times not to exert. But he just wouldn't listen. Mom, at least he could have told us. He's not feeling well. We could have gotten him to the hospital on time. In fact, while leaving, he wouldn't even let Ritu come. He said, You stay and do the functions, Mama. And he's gone. <laughs> Daddy had only got two more days, he would have seen this wedding. Come on. You have to be strong now. <clears throat> I know this is not the right time. But what should we do about the wedding? 
I think we should just postpone it for now. Um, Kamil, what do you think? No, Mama. This wedding was Daddy's biggest dream, and he gave his life for it. I think we should do everything as he planned. But how is this, Mama? Do you know what Daddy's last words were? He said, "Son, I just want this wedding to go on nicely. I don't care what happens to me. This is what he wanted." This is what we'll do. We love you, Daddy, and wish you a happy journey.